Welcome to our third video on simple projects. So previously to this, we've done six videos on simple stitches and the projects that follow are all based on those stitches. So you don't have to learn something different, it's fine. I will be showing you, however, little extras. So not stitches as such, but things that you can enhance your knitting with. So for instance, today I shall show you how to make a simple tassel just to make our scarf a little bit more fun because we're going to make a scarf um, and I'm going to make it grow a bit quicker by using a very chunky yarn. So this one is super chunky and it's a wool mix by Paintbox and it uses size 10 millimeter needles. Look at the size of those that's going to make your work grow very, very quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a scarf, one I've already started because you know these stitches, we've done them before. We're going to start with three stitches cast on to the needle and then we're going to increase it to about 25. You don't need any more than that because it's really super junky and it grows very, very quickly. So let's see how we get on. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so you join me now and I've turned the camera around and you can see this beautiful colour yarn. I love it and it's so chunky and soft because it has 50% wool. So that's what's going to make it nice and soft around your neck. So we cast on three stitches, that's all. And then, just like in the video before when we did our stitches, I've cast on at either end every other row. So as you can see, it is just a knit stitch. On every other row, increased it by one until we got to this nice width. And that, believe it or not, with this super chunky yarn, is only 25 stitches. Now, it goes quite away. And then we get to the point where we've run out of yarn on the first ball. All you do, literally, is tie the both yarns together. So you've run out of yarn, this is all you've got left, and this is the start of your new yarn. And you just tie them in together and then continue on your way. Now, when we get to the end of our scarf and it's all finished, then I will stick those inside the work, just like we did with the other project and hide those ends away, either using a nice thin crochet hook or a big fat darning needle and hide the ends into the work. Now, so I've got to this point now where I'm going to show you just what I've been talking about. Always I try and finish the yarn at the end. Sometimes it leaves you with a really long end. You've just got to take that on the chin really. But this is quite a decent end and then we'll sew it in afterwards. I don't like doing it in the middle of the work because that gives you a horrible lumpy bit. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick if I can make it work. I stick my fingers and hands right inside the middle of the ball and pull out the end from the middle. Now you may seem to think that that is a bit strange, but if you do that, when you're using your yarn, it just comes out of the middle and you don't end up with a ball that rolls around and around on your table and obviously eventually ending up on the floor. So there we go. So I'm going to tie it nice and close just with a simple knot. There we go. That's all you need to do. And then you just carry on with your knit stitch. So make sure you've got the right one. Here we go, and we're going to carry on with the knit stitch. Now, it might be a little difficult, or fiddly, or a little bit awkward even, to get used to these great big fat needles, but you will, and then your knitting will grow very quickly. So there we go, all the way, and it's only 25 stitches. Just move them up so they're not stretching. Oops, it's got a mind of its own, this one. 
There we are. And you just keep going. Now, on this scarf, I have used three balls already. And this is the fourth ball. And this will be my last ball. Now, what I'm going to do when I get to the point where I look like I've only got enough yarn to last, because this is nice and full at the moment, but when it starts looking like it's getting down a bit low, you can measure by going back to the beginning and seeing where, now that's another reason for leaving these long ends, you can see where you started that second ball. So this, to the point, is one ball. So now that I have tied on the new and last ball, let's see if I can fold it and show you. Yeah, so this is your end. And there we are, line it up with that one. This is approximately one ball. So when I get further down, when I've lined up this tail with that tail, and it comes all the way down, all the way till here, then I'm going to start those decrease stitches. But don't worry, I'm going to get on with this bit now until I get to that point, and then I'll come back to the camera. Have fun. Right, so you've come back to me and I'm just going to measure now from the end of the first ball to the start of the last ball. There's the two ends. And we're going to just nice and relaxed with the wool, don't stretch it. And I'm going to show you that I've come now to the end of the straight piece to start the decreasing. So let's get this scarf out there and is actually looking very luscious and there we are now find the other needle now we're going to start to decrease so you're going to take two stitches together as a knit stitch and make it one and then go all the way along the line till we get to the other side Oop, drop the yarn. As I said, it can be a bit fiddly with these chunky yarns and chunky needles, but you will get used to it. There we go. Just to show you out of curiosity. Look, see, that's all I've got left now. Just keep moving it up so it doesn't stretch. There we go. Oops, dropped it again. It might help actually if I show you, you can hold the other needle with your left hand when you move the wool around the tip. There we go. That might stop me from dropping it. Which is something that I tend to do automatically, but it's only when you've got to think about it. There we are. Now we're coming to the end of this row. How many have I got? Three. So we want to get to the last two and then we knit them as, as if they were one stitch. Well, it can be a little bit fiddly, but just get it between, through both stitches and then knit as normal so the two become one. There we go. And then our next row is just a knit row. No decreasing. And you're going to go continue to do things things like that so all the way over until we get one row knit no decreasing and then the second row decrease either end and continue like this until you get down to those three stitches and then we're going to cast off and pop the tassel on so I'll come back to you when I've reached the point right then so I've got down to my last three stitches. And I have decreased on every other row to get there. Now we're just going to cast these off if you remember how. 
So as if we're knitting, let's put two on this needle and then take the stitch from behind over the next one. And again, two on the needle, then using the point of your other needle, oops, take that back one over and then you're left with one. So I'm going to put that loop on my finger. Let's get rid of the knitting needles. Oops, sorry about that. And then I've actually got quite a bit of yarn left, which is unusual because we measured it. Just goes to show not all balls of yarn are the same in yardage, even if they tell you they're exactly the same in weight. And then we just firmly bring that to the end. There we go. Now, stick, use the scissors. And I'm going to show you with my crochet hook, because this yarn is very chunky, you'd be there all day trying to do it on a sewing needle. And you just pop your crochet hook in, catch the end of the yarn and bring it through. There we go. And then we're going to try and hide it a bit more. So into another bit, bring it through. Again, make it go down one. Yeah. And through. It just helps you to do it because it's not very easy to do with your fingers. There we go. And through again. Yeah. And then I could get through that one getting shorter and shorter. And yeah, we could actually just snip that end off. So be very, very careful. Take it close, but don't snip your netting. There we go. So I'm going to do that with all of the ends in a minute when I get my tassels on. So to that end, Remember the little tassel I showed you at the beginning? We are going to attach it to the end of the pointy bit. So I'm going to use the two long ends that we left and I'm going to thread it through this end and tie it off. So we need a pink cushion which has got my darning needle in it. So here we go. Pull it through. Loop. Missed. There we are. Pull it through. So now I've got my tassel all threaded through the needle and then I'm going to stitch it to the end of the scarf. So through the end of the tassel. Remember this is the bit that you Make your tassel and then through the scarf. I'll take that one out now. I'm going to use this other tied off end now. Again, thread it, give it a wiggle, and then pull it through. through the scarf, through the tied off end of the tassel. And there we go. And then we can just tie those ends off. Oop. And another one for luck. And then I'm going to see if I can be really clever stitch them to take them through the eye of the needle at the same time. Oh yes. Let's see if we can grab both lots. Try and get it all through. No, not working. Right. I thought I could save myself time there, but obviously not. So just do them one at a time. Pull it through, 
Now, what we're going to do is stick it all the way through, just down, keep it down. Now, these darning needles are generally quite long, so see if it comes out. There it is, and you can pull that through. Now, can you see that's coming out into the middle of all those long tassely bits? And then just pull it off the needle. And let's do this second one. Again, oop, nearly dropped the needle then. Step. Let's get it through the eye of the needle. There we go. And pull it through. And again, we're going to go down through the head, all the way through to the middle. Oop, let's get it in the middle. There it is. Pull it out and let go. And there you've got your tassel on the end of your scarf. So how did I make the tassel? So if you don't already know how to do it, it's very, very simple. Let's move everything else out of the way. So I just took a book. It's not a precious book. It's just a notebook. Then uh, double knit yarn in a contrast colour. And folding the end. There we go. All the way to the top. Keep it taut, but not so tight that you can't work with that. And I did it all the way round and I counted 70 times. There we go. And you go all the way round 70 times. And when I've done that, then I'll show you how to do the head part. Right, so we've come back and we've done it 70 times all the way round. Keeping it taut, but not too tight to work with. Now I'm going to hold on to the end and then snip it off. If you pop the book down, it's not going to go anywhere. Right, I need a length of yarn. Now remember, we needed the ends to attach it to the scarf. So we need it fairly long, but not too long to work with. Now, where's my... Pin. There we go, there's the darner. So, thread that needle over again. There we are. Give it a wiggle. We should be able to pull it through. Have we got it? No, it's bunching up. Let's do it again. This happens sometimes. Just start it out, take it out and start again. There we go. And there it goes through this time. Now, take your wrapped notebook. And you can see, look, there's the end. And I'm going to go under and round and try and find my needle. There it is. Now I want to keep this end here and this end. So I can take it off the needle now. And I'm going to just do a little knot. Pull it, try and squash it in a bit. Don't worry, you will be able to tighten it up afterwards when I take it off the book, but I just don't want to lose all these threads so that's why I'm tightening and tying a knot now. Let's see if I can get hold of that. There we go. And knot it off. Right, go down to the other end and holding on to those threads we are going to snip them. I don't know if any of you have made a pom-pom, but it's just a bit like that, really. You snip all your ends, but you have to hold on to everything. Now, we've got this bit that we tied together. So, those are the ends that we use. Try not to confuse them with the long bits. 
There we go. And what we're going to do is wrap it round once more. So I've got my finger in that gap. It's a bit like dolls here as well, I guess. Take it round, and the other one round, the other way. That's it, and then we're going to tie it off again. Now we can take it a bit tighter this time because it's not taut over the book. There we go, so pull it in, really get it. And then tie another knot. And they are going to be the ends that you use to attach it to the scarf. There we are. You can see how it's starting to look a bit tassely. Yeah. So, once you've got that, what you do then is moving, oh, I don't know, about an inch. There we go. So, about that much. Get a fresh piece of yarn and wrap it round and round and round and tie it off. Bury the ends inside so that they're lost in amongst all your tassel bits. And that's how you make a tassel. It's not difficult. If you can do this knitting, you can definitely make a tassel. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to finish mine off now. I'm going to put the ends in down the sides of the scarf and I'm going to finish making my other tassel. And then I'll see you on the other side of the camera. Hey, so there we have it. A lovely, ooh, lovely chunky scarf, which is pointy ended and tasseled. So a pointy ended tasseled scarf. Knitted quite quickly, actually. I would say with this lovely chunky wool, it takes approximately an hour a ball, give or take. When you're watching the telly, or sat down doing nothing over lunchtime, just pick it up and do it as you wish. And you'll have a scarf in no time. It does make a difference with the yarns. So have a practice, have an investigate, use different types of yarns, different thicknesses of yarns, go for some lovely chunky needles, and you'd be surprised what you can get away with <laughs> and make some lovely luscious things for you to wear. So have fun. And don't forget, practice, practice, practice. And it only remains for me to say, please like, share and subscribe to these videos and you'll see them come up on your feed all the time. Looking forward to the next one. Bye.